Nuclear bombs, the ultimate weapon that changed humanity forever. A single nuclear bomb can vaporize a city in seconds. Humanity has unleashed this power only twice in war, but it has been tested over 2,000 times. From the secret labs of the Manhattan Project to the Cold War's razor-edge brinkmanship, this is the story of the nuclear bomb, the ultimate weapon that redefined war, peace, and the very survival of our species. The birth of the nuclear bomb, the Manhattan Project. The journey began in 1939 when Albert Einstein, fearing Nazi Germany's scientific ambitions, penned a letter to President Franklin D. Roosevelt. That letter set in motion the Manhattan Project, a colossal wartime effort that marshaled over 130,000 scientists, engineers, and military personnel in utter secrecy. At Los Alamos, New Mexico, theoretical physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer led a team of brilliant minds, racing against time to unlock the destructive potential of nuclear fission. On July 16, 1945, in the heart of the New Mexican desert, the first nuclear explosion, codenamed Trinity, turned night into day. Oppenheimer, watching the massive fireball, famously quoted the Bhagavad Gita, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the only times nuclear bombs were used in war. Less than a month after the Trinity test, the world witnessed the dawn of the nuclear age in warfare. On August 6, 1945, the US bomber, Enola Gay, dropped, Little Boy, a uranium-based atomic bomb, over Hiroshima, Japan. At 8.15 am, a blinding flash vaporized buildings, melted steel, and killed approximately 70,000 people instantly. The bomb unleashed a firestorm, incinerating everything within a two-mile radius. Over the following weeks, tens of thousands more would die from radiation sickness and burns. Three days later, on August 9, the US dropped Fat Man, a plutonium bomb, over Nagasaki. Despite its initial target being the city of Kakura, cloud cover forced a diversion. Fat Man's explosion killed 40,000 instantly, with total deaths rising to over 70,000. The devastation was unlike anything humanity had ever witnessed. Hospitals were overwhelmed, radiation burns were poorly understood, and the psychological trauma was immeasurable. Japan announced its surrender on August 15, 1945, marking the end of World War II. Debates still rage. Were these bombings necessary to force Japan's surrender, or were they a show of force aimed at the Soviet Union? Regardless, Hiroshima and Nagasaki remain the only instances of nuclear bombs used in combat, a haunting reminder of their cataclysmic power. The Cold War and the Nuclear Arms Race The end of World War II marked the beginning of a new kind of conflict, the Cold War. The US and the Soviet Union engaged in a frenetic arms race, stockpiling thousands of nuclear warheads. By the 1960s, both superpowers had enough bombs to obliterate human civilization multiple times over. One of the tensest moments came during the Cuban Missile Crisis of October 1962. The Soviet Union had secretly deployed nuclear missiles to Cuba, just 90 miles off the US coast. For 13 harrowing days, the world teetered on the edge of nuclear Armageddon. Back-channel diplomacy ultimately diffused the crisis, but it revealed how close humanity was to mutual destruction. The doctrine of mutually assured destruction, MAD, took hold, ensuring that any nuclear attack would result in total annihilation for both sides. Nuclear weapons, paradoxically, became a tool for maintaining an uneasy peace. If you find this video interesting, please like, share, and subscribe for more nuclear tests, over 2,000 detonations. Despite their limited use in warfare, nuclear bombs have been tested extensively, over 2,000 times. The United States, Soviet Union, United Kingdom, France, China, India, Pakistan, and North Korea have all conducted nuclear tests. One of the most infamous was the Soviet Union's Tsar Bomber, detonated in 1961 over Novaya Zemlya. At 50 megatons, it remains the largest man-made explosion in history, 3,000 times more powerful than Hiroshima. 
testing was not without consequences. The US conducted 23 tests of Bikini Atoll, displacing native populations and causing long-term radiation contamination. Fallout clouds from atmospheric tests drifted across continents, increasing global cancer rates and environmental damage. Treaties and disarmament effort The global community eventually sought to curb nuclear proliferation. The Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty NPT, was signed in 1968, aiming to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons and encourage disarmament. Further treaties, like the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaties START, and the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty CTBT, sought to limit and monitor arsenals. Several regions, including Latin America and Africa, declared themselves nuclear weapon-free zones. Though global arsenals have reduced significantly since the Cold War's peak, thousands of nuclear weapons remain operational today. The threat today, modern nuclear weapons and doomsday scenarios. Today, nine nations possess nuclear weapons, the US, Russia, China, France, the UK, India, Pakistan, North Korea, and Israel, undeclared. Modern nuclear weapons are far more advanced, miniaturized warheads, hypersonic delivery systems, submarine-launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs, and nuclear triads ensure second strike capabilities. Experts warn of nuclear terrorism, accidental launches, or AI-driven warfare systems malfunctioning. The doomsday clock, maintained by the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists, now sits at 90 seconds to midnight, the closest humanity has ever been to self-annihilation. Why nuclear bombs haven't been used in combat since 1945 Since 1945, no nuclear bomb has been used in conflict. Why? Deterrence plays a major role. Any nuclear strike would invite catastrophic retaliation. International diplomacy, arms control treaties, and global public opinion have also been crucial in preventing nuclear war. Yet, tensions persist. Regional conflicts, arms races, and rogue states continue to keep the nuclear threat alive. The world watches cautiously, hoping history never repeats itself. As we conclude this video, nuclear bombs are both a testament to human ingenuity and a stark reminder of our capacity for destruction. Their presence has kept the peace, yet they remain the ultimate existential threat. Will we one day see a world free of nuclear weapons, or are we merely living on borrowed time? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video insightful, hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more deep dives into the world's hidden truths.